Corporate performance relies heavily on the success of projects, so executives are beginning to focus more closely on hiring project managers who have the required competencies and personal attributes that will make them successful. As a project manager, your value is assessed in terms of what you know, what you can do, and what you are like. From this, you can infer three types of competencies, knowledge-based, performance-based, and personal competency. Project management knowledge competencies include your qualifications for the job and your experience. They are based on skills that you bring to the table as a project manager. The usual reference for determining a project manager's qualifications and experience is a resume. Employers generally look for experience on similar projects in similar organizations and are interested in the success of these projects. However, a resume is only the beginning. In terms of performance-based competencies, employers need to see how you perform in an actual project environment. Performance-based competency depends on how you can put what you know into practice. Let's take a look at all of the responsibilities of a project manager in the context of an actual project. To be successful and meet a project's requirements, you need to apply knowledge, tools, skills, and techniques. Here are a few of your fundamental duties as a project manager. Accomplish a project's objectives. Projects aim to achieve specific objectives in order to produce a unique product, service, or result. You want to accomplish a project's objectives in order to satisfy the customer and deliver what was promised. Manage project constraints and competing demands. Managing project constraints is a lot like juggling. You need to balance the competing demands of the budget, schedule, scope, and quality. A change in one of these interdependent factors impacts the others. For example, if the budget is cut, a project is likely to take longer and you may need to compromise by removing features to reduce the scope of the project. You must also consider risks that can jeopardize your project and address them accordingly. Engage stakeholders through communication. As a project manager, you're responsible to your stakeholders. You must keep them engaged and seek their support and buy-in throughout the project. This is a two-way conversation where stakeholders are encouraged to provide feedback through regular meetings and communication. Maintain project documentation. You create unique documentation throughout a project and you are responsible for updating it as the project progresses. Your project documents may also be referred to as artifacts. The artifacts from your project begin with the business case and project charter and continue to accumulate through the life of the project as documents are continually added and updated. At the end of the project, you archive these documents or artifacts as lessons learned for future projects. Who you are affects how you perform, which brings us to personal competencies. Each personal competency relates to aspects of your character that affect how you apply your knowledge and skills. People with different personality traits may apply knowledge and practices differently, but still achieve similar results. However, there are specific personal competencies that a project manager should have. Successful project managers can manage changes as a project develops because they're innovative and willing to take calculated risks. You need to find creative solutions for problems that arise as a project develops. You also need to find flexible ways of responding to unexpected changes, even when this involves some risk. Another personal quality of a good project manager is the ability to get things done. You need to be able to put plans in motion. Then you must make sure that people remain motivated so that plans are carried out effectively. To be able to do this, you need to move between focusing on details to focusing on the big picture. People skills are another personal competency. You need leadership ability, good communication skills, and the ability to negotiate and to persuade. As a project manager, you communicate with and motivate your team. You negotiate with suppliers during the procurement phase. You also persuade stakeholders to approve budgets and to accept changes to project plans and scope. So in summary, successful project managers are generally those who have detailed knowledge of project processes, tools, and requirements, and they are able to apply this knowledge to successfully perform project tasks. These managers can use their interpersonal skills to gain support and commitment.